Alright, welcome back everyone to another Tech Center tutorial. In this tutorial, I shall be talking to you about the basics of partitioning in Windows Vista and Windows 7. So what is partitioning exactly? Uh, partitioning is when you want to edit the partitions of your hard drive. So let me just explain to you what I mean. So you can see this is my main hard drive, okay? And there are two partitions in it. One is the Vista, I mean Windows 7 partition. This is actually an upgraded one. It was Vista. So anyways, this is where all the Windows files are and the other one is the backup purpose one. So there are two partitions. But th these two belong to one hard drive, which is a 150 gigabyte hard drive. So if I were to merge t these two partitions, they would become one whole partition with, with 150 gigabytes. So partitioning is actually useful if you want to do boot with the XP or other operating systems and also to create backup purpose hard drives or partitions. So let me just show you how to do that in Windows Vista 7. So you're going to go to the start menu and then right click on my computer and click on manage you need administrative privileges in order to do this okay and then once the computer management loads up on the storage you will get this management you're going to click on it and then it should load up the list of your partitions in your computer which is this so you can see you can see all the volumes in your computer or partitions and then all the disks in your computer so this zero is my main hard drive and there are three partitions in it two are shown however but one is hidden and that's this the recovery partition now do not delete the recovery partition it's very important that you don't delete it uh, I also have it's usually included with newer computers these days so recovery partitions are useful when you cannot boot up Windows or you got a serious virus on your computer. So this one is 1.5 gigabytes. So I don't think you can do a complete recovery with it. Unlike in my netbook, Samsung M150, it, the recovery partition is 15 gigabytes because it includes the Windows 7 ISO in it for a complete restore. So that's why I never delete the recovery partition. And then there are two partitions here as well. One is the Windows partition and the other one is the backup partition. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to shrink or divide partitions. So now let's think of it like this. I want to dual boot Windows XP and Windows 7. And uh, let's just think this one is not there, only this. So I need 20 gigabytes of space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove 20 gigabytes from this partition to create a new drive. Or basically we're going to take 20 gigabytes away from this to create another one of this this uh, hard drive or partition or whatever so to do that we're going to right click on the one you want to divide and then click on shrink volume now just wait a bit it's just going to calculate available shrink space and then this should load up so now it should automatically uh, provide a number to divide half of the hard drive now that's not what I want to do I want to separate 20 gigabytes but don't just type in 20,000 as the number. Otherwise, it's just going to sh show 19.4 something gigabytes. And that's not exact. I want it to be exactly 20 gigabytes. So, uh, easy to do that is to open up the calculator, which is over here. And then 1,024 megabytes is 1 gigabyte. So, 20 gigabytes is 20,480. So let's just type there and then let's click on shrink. Now what it should do, it should separate 20 gigabytes from this to create an unallocated space over here. Um, so now all we have to do is format this. Now if you're installing another operating system then you don't really have to format this right now but if you want to just to make life easy then okay. As you can go into the Windows setup and format it from there. But in this case, let's right click on it and click on new simple volume. Now unfortunately I recorded the previous attempt earlier and when I formatted this but unallocated space it did not format successfully so I don't know if it's going to work again this time. Let's just see. 
Next, simple volume size and B. Okay, let's check. Sign the following drive letter. Don't put D for some reason. Let's just put as T. Next, format this volume with the following settings and TFS default. Yeah, form a quick format just to make life easier. Next, finish. Mm-hmm, it didn't format again. Let me try one more time. Format FAT32. Let's try. Alright, FAT32 works. Um, I think I remember this advice. If you have a hard drive of 30 gigabytes and above, then you should format to NTFS. But if you have lower than that, then format to FAT32. So now, what you should see is a new volume. And you can... Let me just show you what I mean. No this anymore. So now you see here, 20 gigabytes has been removed from this to create a new uh, partition over here. So now you have like 20 gigabytes free. I don't know why it's saying 19.9. But and it says 20 gigabytes here, but whatever. Anyways, when whenever you format a partition, some space is taken away, especially in NTFS. About 400 MB is taken away from that space immediately. Okay. So anyways, you have created a new partition or volume. And now you want to delete this partition and remerge it with this partition. How are you going to do that? So that'll be so we're just getting it back to normal. You're going to right click on this and you're going to click on delete volume. It just say free space. Again, you're going to right click on it and click on delete partition. And now it should show as unallocated space. Now you're going to right click on the one you originally divided with and click on extend volume and you should get the wizard click next and then it should automatically be selected if it hasn't just uh, selected from the available section and click add and it should be selected click next and finish and there we go we're back to normal so let's just check in my computer yep we're back to normal so that's about it. Those are the basics of partitioning. And also, if you get a new computer, just as you got one, and you see two partitions already, uh, this is this is for the older ones, but still, like my one, we got two partitions. So all you have to do is, if the other partition is empty, all you have to do is just right click on the Windows partition and click on Extend Volume and do the same thing. So yeah. That's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't want to subscribe for more. So thanks for watching and have a great day.